Hello and welcome to my channel, where I expose the hidden dangers of everyday products and help you make the choice on whether to use or consume them. Because knowledge is power. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most widely used artificial sweeteners in the world, aspartame, and whether or not you should consume it. You may know it by its brand names NutraSweet and Equal, or you may have seen it in the ingredients list of diet sodas, low-calorie foods, and some medications. But do you know what aspartame is made of, how it affects your body, and what are the risks of consuming it? If not, then keep watching, because I'm going to reveal the shocking truth about aspartame and why you might want to limit your consumption of it. Aspartame is a synthetic chemical that is composed of two amino acids, aspartic acid and phenylalanine. These are natural substances that are found in proteins, but when they are combined in a laboratory, they create a substance that is 200 times sweeter than sugar. This means that only a small amount of aspartame is needed to sweeten foods and drinks, making it a popular choice for manufacturers who want to reduce calories and sugar content. However, this also means that aspartame has a very high potency. When you consume aspartame, your body breaks it down into three components, aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. Aspartic acid and phenylalanine are amino acids that are normally harmless, but when they are consumed in large amounts or in isolation from other amino acids, they can cause problems. Aspartic acid can act as an excitotoxin, which means that it overstimulates your brain cells and can damage them. Phenylalanine can interfere with the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, which can affect your mood, memory, and behavior. Methanol is a toxic alcohol that can cause blindness, organ damage, and even death in high doses. Your body also converts methanol into formaldehyde, which is a known carcinogen and neurotoxin. So, why is a product that seems to be hazardous to your health still have the approval of several health organizations around the world? According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the acceptable daily intake of aspartame is 50 mg per kilogram of body weight per day. The average person who consumes aspartame ingests about 4.9 mg per kilogram of body weight, or less than 10% of the FDA's recommendation. The FDA also notes that the exposure to methanol and formaldehyde produced from ingesting aspartame does not pose a safety concern. Adding that consuming tomato juice could result in six times greater methanol production than the aspartame used in zero sugar sodas. Aspartame is also one of the most thoroughly studied food ingredients ever, with more than 200 studies supporting its safety. Also, when looking at the numerous health problems of a diet that is high in sugar, aspartame appears to be a better choice. However, if you are concerned about aspartame or want to limit your intake of it, then you can always read product labels and look for words such as aspartame, NutraSweet, Equal, Phenylalanine, or E951 in the list of ingredients. I hope you have found this video useful and given you some information so that you can make the decision or whether or not you want to consume aspartame. If you have found this video to be helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.